it is a minty colour. It's got some um, shards in there as well, like little brownie coloured shards. Plus, of course, some scattered holographic. Really drawn to this minty type colour this year for some reason. Next we have Cotton Candy which is a light blue holographic. Again this is a scattered holographic. My preference is actually linear holographics, um, but give me a scattered, I'll still be happy, as long as it's got hollow. The next one is, a th yeah, is a linear and scattered hollow, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. This one is Sugar Sprinkles, it is a purple one. Another reason I love it. And the last one from Angel Kiss is this one here. This is Coffee Fudge. This is a linear holographic. I think there's some scattered in there as well. But it's brown and it is gorgeous. It doesn't look like brown in the first coat. You kind of like get a little confused when you put on the first coat. But it does build up. So it looks purple in like a really dark browny purple. Uh, I think the colour I'm thinking of is puce in the first coat, but it builds up so nicely. So the all the rest of the polishes that I'm going to be talking about are from Pretty Serious. A lot of Pretty Serious this year. I did one order where I bought like 10 bottles of it. So I'm not actually showing all of them. I'm only showing a few of them. So the one I'll start with first is probably the one that is the weirdest. This is Pina Colada. Um, I bought a lot when uh, Pretty Serious were doing their big um, whoops, sale for their like uh, rebranding and stuff like that. So this is it's luminous, which is fantastic. It's so gorgeous. It's just it's weird. I have worn this on its own, I have worn it over other polishes as a topper, which is actually kind of weird. I actually prefer it on its own. Um, Pina Colada, for me, is my favourite drink. Not that I drink it anymore, but when I was growing up, that was my favourite drink. Uh, next is another really, um, I think it's, I think everything else has glitter in it. <laughs> This one is Frosty the Snowborg. I obviously had to buy this one because I am a Star Trek fan. And this is the brightest silver ever. Which is one of the reasons I absolutely adore it. Then we will go on to Undercover Mermaid, which is a very interesting uh, polish. You see, I kept all of these in their boxes. Uh, Undercover Mermaid is this kind of uh, taupey colour almost, with scattered bits of shardy goodness in kind of like a greeny sort of shift. Which is why it's called Undercover Mermaid, because it's like you only catch sight of those glistening, shardy things from certain angles. It's not like super duper obvious. It's also one of their thinner felt formulas I've actually found. 
Then we have, um, let's go with a Christmas time paradox, which clearly I bought because it's Doctor Who blue and it's a Doctor Who reference. is the most beautiful electric blue. Stunning. Stunning. Then we have Luminous Doom, which is another purple. This one has lots of greeny teal glitter in it and holographic as well. Pretty much anything that's purple and teal is going to get my vote. Uh, then we have Davy, jo Davy Jones's Lacquer. I love this nail brush. This is a light tealy green with an absolute bucket load of glitter in like holographic and iridescent. And, oh, it's so beautiful. Then we get on to the more serious glitters. <laughs> this one is a uh, Forbidden Zone. This is like autumn fire on your nails. Then we have Daphne's Masquerade Party, which is a silver holographic, uh, I guess, uh, some people would consider it a topper, I go full, <laughs> full on glitter now. Again, this is one of those ones that is really hard to get back off your nails again. So... It's one of those ones where I wear it if I'm not intending to take it off for an extended period of time because <laughs> it's uh, pretty hard to get back off easily. But who cares when it is that sparkly and gorgeous. Then we have one of my favourites for the year. In fact, I think everybody who saw this absolutely loved it. I think a few people bought it when they saw me wearing it. <laughs> This is Wish You Were Beer from Pretty Serious and it is a amber coloured holographic glitter and it is absolutely stunning. Like, they knocked it out of the park with this particular one. Because at first you're like looking at it and you're thinking that's kind of a weird colour, I don't think I'm going to like it. And then you put it on and it's like... Bam, son. Just, even just one coat, even though it's not fully opaque. It's majestic, is what it is. And last but not least, <clears throat> is Galaxy Invader. This is another kind of me in a bottle. This one is a bit more blue than the other one. Um, Dance of Dragons is a lot more green. Or teal. This one's more kind of blue to purple, but it is still absolutely stunning. And I love a good duo multi chrome type polish. And I very, ah, uh, um, yeah, Galaxy Vader. I very much bought it because of the colour of it. Oops. So. 
So I am going to go and put a second coat on these and then I will be back. So I am back after putting on a, another layer on all of these. So we will just go back through them. So the first one is the bonus one for this one. This is Lady Grey. She says, Gorgeous one here. I have not top coated any of these. This is how they dry, just so you're aware. So be careful what you witch for from Glam Polish. It is actually a top coat eater. Uh, be aware of that. It's quite textured because it is so thick with glitter. Uh, Dance of Dragons, which is probably my favourite for the year. This would be like number one. Which is this one here. Um, it is so beautiful. Then we have uh, Mocha Frosting from Angel Kiss. Absolutely gorgeous. Chalk Mint from Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer. Cotton Candy from Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer. This is almost linear. There's so much in it that it's almost linear. It's, it's very subtle though. It's beautiful. Uh, Sugar Sprinkles is almost linear as well. Like a quite subtle linear. But again, just really, really beautiful. Um, and coffee fudge is oh, it is so gorgeous. It's a couple of little pigment particle things on my swatch. Just ignore those. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's one of those ones you really have to have it on your nail to notice just how gorgeous it actually is. Then we have a peanut colada. I was a bit sloppy with my swatch, so it's got lines in it. But I just love this kind of like this luminous yellowy thing. I know, I just really like it. Uh, Frosty the Snowball, as you can see, super bright silver. It's actually got little sparkles in it as well. Undercover Mermaid. Nice and subtle, kind of thing you could wear to the office and then you'd be able to like surprise everybody by the little flex in it. Uh, Christmas Time Paradox. These are all pretty serious. Luminous Doom. I just love this colour. It's so pretty. Uh, Davy Jones's Lacquer. This is another favourite of mine. Forbidden Zone is just stunning. Again, it's a little bit of a top coat eater because it is pretty packed. Daphne's Masquerade Party is stunning. It's just, just stunning. Wish You Were Beer, another favourite from this year. It took me by surprise completely, but I love it. And last but by no means least, a Galaxy Invader. Gorgeous. So those are my top 17 indies for 2017. This of course was in collaboration with a whole bunch of other ladies who will all be linked down below. If you're wondering what has been on my nails through this whole thing, this is Stroke of Midnight from L'Oreal. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like and now polish up videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!